2018 Dodge Challenger. 2018 Dodge Challenger Review. All in the heart pounding muscle car personality with fewer sacrifices in practicality. 4 star overall score. In the past several years, the muscle car class is contested with the Chevrolet Camaro, Dodge Challenger and Ford Mustang. The Challenger differs from the Mustang and Camaro having its larger size, an abashed red roller look and boulevard cruiser attitude. The Challenger's bigger size enables much more backseat room plus a sedan sized trunk, along with think this implies the Challenger is tame in contrast. You use a wide variety of choices, including the 305 horsepower SXTV6 approximately the drag strip dominating demon as well as its potential for 840 horsepower. When pitted against its rivals, the 2018 Dodge Challenger has no the sharp handling to maintain on a curvy road, nevertheless it bests them in comfort, refinement and pure row appeal. What's new? As when the 707 horsepower Hellcat wasn't enough, the 840 horsepower Demon joins the 2018 Challenger lineup using a narrow give attention to drag strip supremacy. Only 3000 is going to be built to the United States. There's also a new SRT wide body model in line with the Hellcat, in conjunction with some cosmetic updates. Elsewhere, there exists a new performance handling package for 5.7 litre V8 models, the common touch screen gets bigger, and all sorts of trims get yourself a rear view camera and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. The RT trim is our pick one of many 2018 Dodge Challenger lineup because it is the most affordable V8 powered model. Along with some performance related mechanical upgrades, it's qualified for a long list of options to configure it in your personal tastes having to break the budget. Of course, if money were no object, there is the new SRT Demon, but limited production along with the track-focused mission is likely to make it quite rare. For everyone else, we'd push for your scintillating SRT Hellcat widebody that comes that has a bonkers 707 horsepower supercharged V8 and also the wider tires. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Dodge Challenger is usually a 5-seat, 2-door coupe that can be found in 7 major trim levels, a few of which are further split up into several sub-trims. Major trim levels add the SXT, GT, R, T, R, T392, SRT392, SRT Hellcat and SRT Demon. The SXT and GT Challenger trims are powered by way of a V6. The mediocre ones are driven by a growing number of powerful V8s, culminating from the 840 horsepower Demon. Draw. First up will be the SXT, powered by way of a 3.6 litre V6 engine, 305 horsepower, 268 pound-feet of torque, matched to a 8-speed automatic transmission. Standard features include 18-inch wheels, automatic headlights, heated mirrors. Keyless ignition and entry, an auto dimming rear view mirror, dual zone automatic climate control, a six way power adjustable driver's seat, and 60 40 split folding rear seats. Tech features include Bluetooth, a 7 inch touch screen, a rear view camera, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, two USB ports, and also a six speaker subwoofer. The GT employs exactly the same V6 and may be the only Challenger with all wheel drive. On top on the SXT features, it adds 19-inch wheels, fog lights, rear parking sensors, upgraded brakes, heated front seats, ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, a power adjustable and heated tire, interior ambient lighting, an 8.4-inch touchscreen, performance-related in-car apps, and satellite and HD radio. The RT would be the least expensive way into a V8 Challenger. Offering a 5.7 litre engine paired either to a 6 speed manual transmission, 375 horsepower, 410 pounds to feet, or 8 speed auto, 372 horsepower, 400 pounds to feet. In addition to the SXD features, you receive 20 inch wheels, fog lights, upgraded brakes, a limited slip differential, as well as an active sport exhaust. The R 
T392 gets a level larger 6.4 litre V8, 485 horsepower, 475 pounds to feet, in conjunction with Brembo performance brakes, 4 piston back and front, a sport tune suspension, a rear spoiler, cloth sports seats, rear parking sensors, an 8.4 inch touch screen together with the newest version of Uconnect, performance related in car apps along with an Alpine stereo audio with HD, satellite radio. The SRT392 model builds upon the RT392 offerings, adding xenon headlights, an exclusive air intake, power folding mirrors, beefier front Brembo brakes, six piston front, adaptive suspension dampers, a power adjustable and heated sport tire, heated and ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, configurable driving modes, an 18 speaker Harman Kardon sound system, navigation, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. They may also be variants on the above, for example the Plus, R, T, T, A, R, T Scat Pack and R, T Shaker that include a few specs. The SRT Hellcat is focused on raw speed, evidenced by its supercharged 6.2 litre V8, 707 horsepower, 650 pounds to feet. It's also furnished with unique exterior styling, a sportier suspension, quad exhaust dips, automatic high beams and automatic wipers. A new SRT Hellcat wide body model gets some very prominent demon based fender flares to allow for wider tires that improve car's handling and grip. The new SRT Demon makes its mark since the most powerful muscle car ever, 840 horsepower, 770 pounds to feet on 100 octane race fuel or 808 horsepower, 717 pounds to feet on premium unleaded. The 8-speed automatic would be the only transmission offered. With drag racing because Hewitt is reason for being, the Demon receives specialized equipment which includes numerous cooling systems, street legal drag slicks, a trans brake, for max engine power at launch, an adaptive suspension using a drag mode, and launch control. It's also important to explain what is eliminated, there's no front passenger seat, no rear seats with no sound insulation. You can add back the seats for any mere $1. In relation to its features, the Demon is similarly appointed since the Hellcat, but 18-inch wheels, 4-piston lighter-weight brakes, a dynamic exhaust system, a power-adjustable cloth sport driver seat, a navigation system, and also a two-speaker stereo with satellite and HD radio. Most in the features situated on the upper trim levels may be added to the fewer trims as options. A sunroof is optional on all Challenger trims, and new SRT model buyers get yourself a one-day course in an SRT driving experience school. Driving. The SXT Plus performed surprisingly well considering it's overshadowed from the V8 models. Handling is impressive due largely to grippy summer tires. The upgraded brakes are outstanding. In relation to drivability, the Challenger SXT is undoubtedly an acceptable otherwise enjoyable, daily commuter. Acceleration The 305 horsepower 3.6 litre V6 is smooth yet hard revving. The 3,930 pound SXT accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds, which is usually a bit slower than rivals with base engines. Obviously, the Challenger's various V8s provide significantly quicker acceleration. Braking The brake pedal feel is medium firm and well suited to everyday driving. During Panic's top testing, the portly Challenger needed just 104 feet to quit from 60 miles per hour. This can be a great result, but remember it had the advantage of summer tires. Steering Turn in solution is quick, though there is little from the way of feedback relating to the road as well as the driver. Some drivers may find the steering's hefty weighting is a bit much for daily duties out and about. Handling There's no touring around it, for a sport coupe, the Challenger is large and heavy. Even with our testers Super Track Pack, which adds a sportier suspension and gratification tires, body roll is pronounced when open turns. Still, there's enough grip a great enjoyable time. Drivability 
The Challenger's responsive steering helps maneuverability, though the car just feels big, especially on narrow roads and tight corners. The gas and brake pedal are responsive and easily modulated. The 8-speed automatic also shifts quickly and maintains gears well on grades. Comfort A firmer ride is acceptable coming from a sporty car such as Challenger, so it will be impressive so it manages small bumps so well. Larger bumps are far more noticeable from the cabin. Still, the mixture of comfortable seats along with a quiet ride makes a nice destination for a beef for the extended time. Seat Comfort The front seats are happy, and that we have no complaints after working hours on the highway. If one area might be improved, it will be the front seat's insufficient lateral support. The door and center console armrests are nicely padded, though. Ride Comfort Equipped with all the Super Track Pack's firmer sport tune suspension, the Challenger incorporates a firm ride that's to get expected for that class. It does an admirable job absorbing small road imperfections but feels jarring over larger bumps and dips. Noise and vibration. You'll hardly see the V6 at highway cruising speeds. The Challenger's sound deadening is rather good for your segment, although tire noise can be seen over certain surfaces. Overall, it is just a pretty quiet car. Interior. The Challenger is often a king among coupes using its class-leading passenger and cargo space. It's a considerably more livable daily driver than its coupe muscle car competition. But wrestling the massive doors accessible to gain access might be a challenge. Ease people. Controls incorporate a combination of knobs and buttons which are large and straightforward to use. Some functions are tucked away from the touch screen, but otherwise it's one with the most user-friendly interfaces inside industry. Getting in, getting out. The doors are large and open fully, allowing the prospect of easy entry and exit. That said, the Challenger's big doors weigh too much, along with their size is really a hindrance in tight parking spaces. Rear seat access is often a bit greater than in rival muscle car coupes. Roominess The Challenger includes a lot of front leg room and shoulder room. Headroom is slightly compromised because of the sunroof though most six-footers will still fit. The rear seat isn't quite manufactured for all sizes, nonetheless it is much bigger than those of competitors while offering three seats versus two. Visibility Visibility is just not good, but typical for that segment. There are significant blind spots on the shoulder. Forward sight leans are acceptable, but it really can be difficult to evaluate the front corners. A large display rear view camera is standard and enables considerably. Quality There are not any squeaks or rattles to communicate of. The upper door panels on our test car did shake, almost like loose, if we closed the doors, but this is really a minor we were using what otherwise appears to become well built automobile for that price. Utility Coupes aren't generally known for the spacious cargo area. Nevertheless the Challenger features a trunk that puts the Mustangs and Camaros to shame. Cargo measurements are simply just slightly smaller than those in the Charger sedan. Small item storage The Challenger has decent small item storage all over, plus their moderately sized center console is wonderful for holding many different items. Cargo space The trunk opening is large and its particular capacity blows the category away which has a mid-size sedan like 16.2 cubic feet. The rear seat backs fold in the 60-40 split configuration to be expanded the Challenger's space even more. Technology We've experienced a lot of exposure to older versions of Dodger's infotainment system, Uconnect, so we've even tested the modern Uconnect 8.4 system in other cars. We haven't tested it within the Challenger yet, in those other cars, it gives you crisp graphics, quick responses and straightforward, logical menus. Long-term road test To read more about the Dodge Challenger of the generation, 
Watch our updates coming from a full year of living using a 2009 Dodge Challenger. We cover from seat comfort to real world fuel economy. Please note which the 2018 Dodge Challenger differs from our long term Challenger in which the interior has become significantly overhauled, among other changes. It's a similar generation, though, a lot of our observations still apply.